there are a limited number of formations you can have in square dancing, and I think we've got them pretty well covered. Uh, you, you've got the box of four, you've got lines, all facing the same direction. You've got ocean waves, which are lines facing opposite directions, and you've got circles, uh, either four people circles or eight people circles. That's about it. Yeah. Diamonds? So, um, well, diamonds are a variation of the wave, of, of the ocean wave on the side. You, you get to a diamond by juggling that ocean wave. But uh, that's, that's about it for formations. Uh, you can have some, you know, when you get into the advanced, there are all kinds of interlocking things. And, and, yeah. uh, but in, in standard, you know, Mainstream. eight people in, in, in an arrangement, you've about used them up. And square dancing, modern square dancing uses them all. It's interesting that one that went away was the goalpost action. Uh, there is none of that in modern square dancing. Many of the calls that we have are just combinations of calls that have given a name. And that was Ed Gilmore's original objection to swing through. He said, I can call this action. I don't need a, a term for it. And he could, you know, do -so do step to an ocean wave, uh, turn by the right, turn by the left, balance. Uh, that's a swing through. Yeah. Uh, and... He didn't need the term swing through, and he correctly recognized that that was the beginning of what was to become a, a very scary cliff walk. <laughs> because much of modern square dancing is a combination of actions that have been given names. The, the extreme of that is the spin chain of gears, where, where one call involves 16 beats of action involving all eight dancers moving uh, across the square. Uh, and Relay the Ducey, uh, same thing. Uh, that's a more than 16-beat action that involves people going around the outside, people going across the middle. One term says, all eight of you do this. Yeah. And, but you could, theoretically, you couldn't with good timing, and the reason for giving a new name is so that the action can be executed without interruption. If you tried to direct it, the trouble with Ed Gilmore's swing through was that there was a hesitation after the right-hand turn, before the left-hand turn. And with swing through, that's a continuous flowing so motion. So you know that all of these things go together. And that's, that's why you give names. It's interesting, some of the ones that have been given names that didn't accomplish that didn't stay around. We tried them, and they were they didn't accomplish that specific goal. The ones that stayed are pretty much actions that you couldn't call without that term, yeah. without introducing a hesitation.